What's up everyone, it's Hagbar the Mad, and today we're playing a uh, sort of a janky uh, Boros build. Uh, the idea for this deck is essentially to put out a uh, Brash Taunter or a Stormwild Caprador, and then um, deal damage to our own creatures through uh, any of these burn spells that we have, and... Uh, from dealing damage to our own creatures, we're going to deal damage to our opponent, either in the form either in the form of direct damage from Brash Taunter, or uh, flying damage from Stormwild Caprador. Uh, it's a pretty fun deck. It actually uh, works pretty well. <laughs> I'll uh, go through the list real quick. We have a lot of burn spells. Uh, it's a very much a uh, it's almost like mono red control, really. Um, we have two spike field hazards, uh, four perforosis interventions, uh, two cinder clasms, four fire prophecies, four thundering rebukes, two heliod's interventions, uh, four shatter skull smashings, four stormwild capridors, two skyclave apparitions, four bone crusher giants, um, one Legion Angel in the main board, and then three in the sideboard as sort of our alt win con. And uh, four uh, Storm's Wraths, which is really good whenever it hits the uh, board with either a Stormwild Caprador out or a uh, Brash Taunter, which we have four of. Um, we have two Undo Inversions, just in case we somehow make it to a late game. Uh, we generally don't, but uh, they're there. And then our mana base, uh, fairly straightforward. We have uh, 18 lands. Um, a bit more if you count the, uh, the uh, what is it, flip spells, whatever. But yeah, this is the deck. Let's uh, get in and play some games. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty fun deck. I've had a lot of fun uh, playing around with it for the past couple days. Um, I'm not entirely sure all my choices are the best, but, um, essentially I just looked for, uh, the cheapest, best, uh, burn removal to where we can control our opponent's board and, uh, hmm. Sure, we can try this. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, we want to control our opponent's board and uh, try to uh, just not burn them out, but uh, run them over with our burn spells. Let's scry. Need another land. That counts as a land. We'll keep it. All right. Demir Rogues again? Probably. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and play this as a uh, white source. That way we have the apparition open in case we need it. Okay, so they're going pretty slow. Well, currently they can't drown on the Lacus, but I bet they have other counter spells. Let's see if this resolves. Yeah, you got it. That's fine. Alright, cool. There's no reason to uh, play it untapped. Pass the turn. One of these days, they may play something. You've got it. I love these uh, Song of Creation sleeves. Hmm. They've already countered us once. They can't just draw or disrupt us again. But I bet they have a lot more counter spells in hand. I just feel like we're not going to catch them untapped at any point. So, uh. Let's just try to get them out. Try to get. 
try to get them out of their hands. You got it. We'll play this land again tapped. This way if we uh, if we draw the uh, taunter, we don't have to shock that in. Or bolt it in. Shark Typhoon, sure. Let's shock face. Just cause. And play the Bone Crusher. Alright. Alright. Now we're on the past turn game. You've got it. Yep. Go ahead and scry. Does he find what he needs? Something's going to the top. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, we'll drop one Storm's Wrath. Okay. Let's play the planes. And move to combat. Alright. You've got it. So this guy, I'm not sure what his win con is other than uh, Shark Typhoon. But he's got to do something about this Bone Crusher Giant at some point. Gracious, great shark. You gonna block? Sure. We almost have enough to run him over with just the... Uh, Let's see here, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. If we chose to go that route, I mean, he would certainly counter it. It's past turn. Let's see what he does. He's doing a lot of scrying, that's for sure. Yep. Let's do it again. Let's drop that again. Heliod's intervention. Alright. See if he wants to do something about that in the gate. Sure. Scry. That'll do. So this puts a, uh, a creature on our board. Okay. Oh, cool. We tapped out. I don't think he was expecting the mono red control. <laughs> or the, uh, not mono red, Boros control. Will he negate this? Possibly. Will he essence scatter this? If he can. Frantic inventory. Sure.
Let's go ahead and save ourselves some damage. Why not? Pass the turn. Yep. So his entire win con is essentially make sharks. Sure, you got it. There's not a whole, whole lot that we can really do against this. Not at this point. So that's, what, 12, um, 14? Mm. Yeah, we can't really win. Yep. Let's just go on to another game. Something... A little less shark heavy but hey that's that's better than Omnath I guess also better than getting milled I'd much rather play against a control deck <laughs> oh. okay let's keep going so um the next video that I do will be a uh, historic video that I'm uh, I've been working on the deck for a little bit. It's it's pretty nice. It's a nice little uh, aggro deck. So uh, you know it'll fit right in with the historic. This deck, I'm hoping I get to show you guys uh, how the uh, combo with. Brash Taunter and uh, Porphyrosa's Intervention or Stormwild Caprador uh, works, but you know, we'll see. Let's drop the mountain and pass. Raccoon Hellhound? Sure. Alright. Let's, um,. Go ahead and kill this. This is a sign that it's either mono red or gruel. And I'm not really looking to get run over by mono red or gruel. Not right now. But mono red or gruel is a uh, super good matchup for us because Stormwild Caprador. All of their stuff, all, all of their removal is going to be damage based, so it'll just keep getting bigger. I wouldn't be surprised if he just concedes. Phoenix of Ash, sure. Phoenix of Ash, have you ever met Cinderclasm? Or a kicked Cinderclasm? Yep, that would go to face. All right, we do need to hit a, a land drop, though. We are missing one of those. We can't get that out yet. <laughs> sure. We'll go ahead and take the damage here. Um, I really do kind of like all this in hand. Let's drop the angel. Okay. We we do need to get through to a land, so. He can bring out the uh, phoenix here. Yep, got it. But it's just a 3-3. Three, three. Doesn't matter. 3-3 three, three that goes face. 
All right. He's got to be so happy right now. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got lethal. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and do this. So, uh, Perforos' intervention doubles damage on target creature. So, we just paid for three. We'll get six counters on it. Let's hit him with the GG. And thank you, Fox, for letting me play that out. That was super nice of you. Most uh, mono red would have conceded at that point, so, you know, thank you for being a trooper. <laughs> you always gotta appreciate the uh, opponents who allow you to uh, finish whatever dumb combo you might have. Sure. Alright, let's keep going. Maybe one day we'll find a brash taunter. These last two games, they've been weirdly absent from my deck. The game I played before that, it was also absent. And I got, uh. What did I. I got Ugand, and, uh, I just didn't have a very good time with that. Uh. Sure, why not? We can do better, but we'll uh We'll see what they're doing. Green let's hold open stomp. And we'll uh it's not really even shock anymore, it's bolt now, right? Well, let's go ahead and get him down. And we've got uh, plenty of control for right now. We do need to get through to uh, another land, of course. Hmm. Can't block unless you have four more cards in hand. Does. That doesn't really matter though, does it? Alright. What you got? Okay, so this is Garuk's Uprising. Garruk's Uprising is the whole reason we have the Heliod's intervention in this deck. Um, this deck just does not work against Trample because I don't know if you know the interaction between uh, Brash Taunter and anything with Trample, but you can block it, but it's only going to take one damage and then everything is going to just run through it. That being said, they do have to kind of put something out to be able to do that. Yeah, you've got it. Awesome. Yep, and you get to draw. But... I can shock you. And then I can Thundering Rebuke. Yeah, that's fine. You know, it's weird. I had no issues with having uh, five mana uh, before I started recording this video. <laughs> Which, five mana is essentially our sweet spot, because that's just... That's where we can play uh, Brash Taunter if we ever see it. But, uh, yeah.
If we get a white here, we didn't, but we got something even better. The concede button. Yep. There we go. He was a little salty on that one. I knew he would concede. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, once you play enough games with this deck, uh, you kind of get the feeling. I don't know, it's weirdly good in this meta. Um, mostly because... I, I guess it's just... Uh, the indestructibility of uh, the Brash Taunter. Whenever you drop that against like Rogues or Omnath, um, people have trouble overcoming it. Obviously, Omnath can burn you out with his ability, plus they tend to run, uh, you know, other more burn spells or maybe go over the head spells. But for the most part you do uh you do fairly well i'm not saying it's a uh, meta breaker or anything like that it's just uh it's a surprisingly good matchup all right cool keep this All right, plans and pass. Sure. We, of course, stomp that. Mill two lands, all right. Hey, look who it is. Well, they found him. Well, we found him. Okay. Can't counter this with Drown in the Lock right now. Do we see a Lofty Denial? Or something similar? Soaring Thought Thief. Cool. That's what I thought. But, you never know. Does it get bounced? Heartless Act. Yep, makes sense. Land? Nope. Well, let's go ahead and drop you. Oh boy. How many lands has he taken? Um, let's drop the other fire prophecy. Just what we wanted. While he's tapped out, let's go ahead and uh, kill all these Thought Thieves. Hi. Again, most people don't expect the, uh, the red control aspect. They're not quite ready for it. Got it. So if he wants to use his mana on anything right here. Nope. Um let's go ahead and get out the storm wild capper door. Alright. Another heartless act? Nope. Borrower. Cool. Let's 
You've got it. You've got it. Alright. This is a telltale sign that there's a wipe coming. Let's see if he catches it. Nope. Okay, let's see what he's got. Bounce, removal, something. He's got it. Yeah, we'll take a, we'll take a sixth land. They give us a bit. That gives us a bit more options. Okay, end of the story. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Rankle. Ooh. Let's go ahead and trade here. Just card a card. Let's get rid of this. Yep. And just leave a stomp open for whatever he might decide to drop. Yeah, you've got it. Anything else? Nope. Makes sense. I shouldn't even have targeted that if I was thinking, to be honest. Let's get the Tauner out. We haven't seen him at all since we've uh, been playing this. How many Brazen Borrowers has he hit us with so far? Three or four? Only two? Oh yeah, because one of them was a uh, Glass Pool Mimic. Oh! Boys, does he have the counter spell? That's what, uh, five? We gotta go for it, right? Yes, I'm sure. Auto pay. Can we GG? Ah. Uh, well, that's kind of expected. We, uh, okay, okay, not quite as good. This is for four, and it doesn't kill him. Yes, I'm sure. Boom. Man, let's deal one. All right. So now, if we hit a uh, stomp, or an, actually, I think we're out of stomps. I think we've been through all the bone crushers we're going to see. Sure. Well, good game. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the deck. <laughs> Like I said, it's a very fun deck. Yes, we had a good time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, anything really. Um, share it, maybe, if you want to. I, uh, I'm hoping to kind of grow my channel. But yeah, 
uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you.